Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I am RK. In this video, let's see how to use curl command and wget command. Curl is a command line tool that uses to transfer data or checking website source code or its status code. Let's install curl sudo apt install curl. Here my password. Let's check. Yes, here curl is installed in our machine. Now let's run any command. Let's clear our screen. Curl. Let's get any URL link. Here let's search about Windows 11. Here you can see the. Let's go. Okay. Here we have seen it website. Here you can see the details about Windows 11 in this blog. Let's copy the link. Let's curl the link here. Press enter. Here this is the source code of the page. The HTML source code. Instead of displaying the output like this, we can also copy the output in new file using output redirection like return symbol and the file name is index.html. But here we have a flag to do this thing. The flag is iPhone O, the lowercase o. Here you need to enter the file name is cnet.html. Here this is the speed. Here the total size of the file and the received file and this is the average speed of the data transaction and the total time and time spent and this is the time left. Here the file is created cnet.html. Let's open the file in Firefox. Here you can see the output. This is the official website. And this is the file that we downloaded in our machine. Here you can see the file path. And this is the URL link of the page. And instead of giving our preferred name, we can also download the file with the default name using the uppercase O. Let's open our Firefox again. Here I am searching for Ubuntu. Let's search for the desktop version. Let's cancel this. Here's the download link of the file. Let's copy that. Here I'm using the link of the file in curl and I find uppercase O to denote that I need to download the file with the default name. Let's save the link. Let's download it now. Here it started. Now I am going to cancel that by using Ctrl C. Here I just stopped my download in between. When I need to continue this download, I can use the flag curl iPhone uppercase C. Here it's receiving the download, so I can receive the file if any of the file is stopped in between. And by using curl, we can also get the header of the files, like here we already used seen it. Continue with that. I don't need these things. I find uppercase I. This flag only gets the headers of the link, it won't get the source code of the file. And Let's curl google.com google.com Here you can see that it says it moved permanently. When we asked for google.com in the browser it will redirect our request to a new file or a new URL 
but in curl it didn't redirect us. Instead of that, it displays the output that we asked. For that, we can use hyphen the uppercase L flag, so it will redirect the output. So it will follow the path. And that's it of curl. Now let's see how to use wget. Let's clear our screen. wget is also like curl, but by using it, we can only download and upload files. Let's search for wget in GitHub. wget. Here the official link for wget. And here you can see the source code of the file. Let's install this using wget. Let's copy the link and type wget and paste the link. This is the link for the file. Click install ls. Here you can see monster.zip that we downloaded now. And you can use different names to install that, like using uppercase O, you can give the names like wget dot zip let's check our files here wget dot zip and if we need to download the files in another directory like i need to download these files to my desktop i can use the uppercase p flag And like in curl, we can also receive the file that we stopped in between using the lowercase c flag. And if you have a FTP server, you can download the files from the FTP by using with FTP user and FTP password flag. And that's it guys. If you have any doubts, ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear it. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.